With over 500 billion cups of coffee consumed yearly and its rich composition of over 1,000 ingredients, coffee holds a complex place in our health narrative. It's celebrated for its antioxidants, anti-inflammatory properties, and even its potential to ward off certain diseases. But when it comes to our kidneys, vital organs that filter and cleanse our body, does coffee offer a protective embrace, or does it pose a hidden threat? In today's deep dive, we're unraveling the intricate tapestry of coffee consumption and kidney health. With coffee being a daily staple for so many, whether its effects are beneficial or detrimental holds significant weight. From the bustling coffee farms to the latest scientific research, we're exploring how your daily brew influences one of the most critical systems in your body. With kidney disease affecting one in seven adults and standing as a leading cause of death, understanding this link is more important than ever. So, whether you're sipping on a latte, espresso, or a decaf blend, join us as we navigate through the myths, facts, and studies shedding light on this pressing question. Pre-opera to be shocked and don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay updated with our health and wellness explorations. By the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding of how to protect this vital organ. Let's embark on this caffeinated journey together. Your kidneys remove wastes and extra fluid from your body. Your kidneys also remove acid that is produced by the cells of your body and maintain a healthy balance of water, salts, and minerals, such as sodium, calcium, phosphorus, and potassium, in your blood. Without this balance, nerves, muscles, and other tissues in your body may not work normally. Your kidneys also make hormones that help control your blood pressure, make red blood cells, and keep your bones strong and healthy. That's why it's important to take care of your kidneys. However, when kidney disease enters the scene, this harmonious process is jeopardized. Kidney disease, a term that encompasses various conditions affecting the kidneys, can stealthily progress without symptoms, often going unnoticed until it's advanced. It's a global health concern, affecting millions worldwide, and it ranks as a leading cause of mortality. The statistics are sobering, one in seven adults is grappling with some form of kidney disease making it a silent epidemic that's as widespread as it is insidious. The kidneys, with their critical role in filtering waste and balancing bodily fluids, are sensitive to dietary habits, including coffee consumption. Now, the big question, is coffee a kidney superhero or a sneaky villain? We're diving deep into the latest studies to uncover whether that steaming cup of java is your kidney's best friend or their worst nightmare. Coffee's complexity extends far beyond its caffeine content, boasting a composition that's as intricate as it is fascinating. With over 1,000 identified compounds, coffee is a concoction of chemicals that work in concert to deliver not just unique flavors and aromas but also a range of health effects that scientists are still unraveling today. At the heart of coffee's health conversation are its antioxidants, compounds known for their ability to combat oxidative stress and inflammation in the body. These antioxidants, along with other significant components like diterpenes, chlorogenic acid, and melanoidins, contribute to coffee's protective effects against various conditions, including certain cancers, heart disease, and even neurodegenerative disorders. It's a testament to coffee's chemical complexity that it can be linked to such a diverse array of health outcomes. Diving deeper into the essence of coffee it becomes clear that this beloved beverage is more than just a vehicle for caffeine. Its complex chemistry includes a plethora of compounds, each contributing to coffee's rich flavor profile, aroma, and health impacts. Among these, antioxidants such as chlorogenic acids stand out, celebrated for their role in neutralizing harmful free radicals in the body. These antioxidants are pivotal in reducing oxidative stress a factor in chronic diseases and aging. Equally significant are diterpenes such as cafestal and coel, found in the oily part of coffee. They have been studied for their potential to influence liver function positively and modulate cholesterol levels. Another star player in coffee's lineup is chlorogenic acid, a type of polyphenol that boasts anti-inflammatory properties. This compound is of particular interest because of its potential role in glucose metabolism, 
making it a subject of research in the context of diabetes and metabolic syndrome, conditions closely linked to kidney health. Melanoidins, produced during the roasting process, not only contribute to the rich color and flavor of coffee but also exhibit antioxidant and antimicrobial properties. Their role in health is still being deciphered, with studies suggesting benefits ranging from modulating gut health to potential protective effects against disease. Yet, for all its beneficial components, coffee's caffeine content is the most debated in terms of health effects. While moderate caffeine consumption is often considered safe and can even be protective against certain diseases, its impact varies widely among individuals. In the context of kidney disease, caffeine's effects on blood pressure and the potential for dehydration are of concern, as both factors are closely related to kidney function. Caffeine's diuretic effect, for example, can lead to increased urination, potentially stressing the kidneys over time if not balanced with adequate hydration. As we venture further into the interplay between coffee consumption and kidney health, recent research sheds light on an area of great interest and concern. It's here, in the nexus of nutrition and nephrology, that we find compelling evidence pointing to a nuanced relationship between our beloved brew and kidney function. The spotlight falls on a groundbreaking meta-analysis that synthesizes data from multiple studies, offering a panoramic view of coffee's impact on kidney disease. This analysis, one of the largest of its kind, delves into how coffee consumption correlates with various aspects of kidney health, including the incidence of kidney disease, progression to end-stage kidney disease, and markers of kidney damage such as albuminuria, a condition where protein leaks into urine, signaling kidney stress. What emerges from the meta-analysis is both surprising and reassuring. For individuals without existing kidney disease, moderate coffee consumption 1 to 2 cups daily appears to be associated with a decreased risk of developing kidney disease. Specifically, those indulging in this moderate coffee habit showed a remarkable 13 to 18 percent reduction in risk compared to non-coffee drinkers. This protective effect suggests that components within coffee may have beneficial impacts on kidney health, possibly due to their antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. But what about those already navigating the challenges of kidney disease? Here, the findings offer a ray of hope. The meta-analysis reveals that coffee drinkers, irrespective of the amount consumed, Experienced an 18% reduction in the risk of progressing to end-stage kidney disease, the point at which dialysis or transplantation becomes necessary. Furthermore, coffee consumption was associated with a reduced risk of albuminuria, indicating a potential protective effect against kidney damage progression. In light of the compelling research pointing to coffee's potential benefits for kidney health, determining the sweet spot for coffee consumption becomes crucial. The meta-analysis we discussed earlier provides us with valuable insights, suggesting that moderation not only is key but also offers a quantifiable benchmark for those looking to optimize their kidney health through dietary choices. The evidence points towards a fascinating conclusion, consuming 2-3 to three cups of coffee per day appears to maximize the health benefits associated with coffee while minimizing potential risks. This moderate level of consumption aligns with general health guidelines and is considered safe for the majority of the population, including those with concerns about kidney health. Remarkably, this amount seems to strike a harmonious balance, reducing the risk of developing kidney disease, slowing the progression of existing conditions, and even potentially lowering the risk of mortality associated with chronic kidney disease. Moreover, the choice between caffeinated and decaffeinated coffee emerges as a relevant consideration in this discussion. Interestingly, studies included in the meta-analysis and other research indicate that decaffeinated coffee provides similar protective benefits against kidney disease as its caffeinated counterpart. This finding is particularly relevant for individuals who may be sensitive to caffeine or have been advised to limit their caffeine intake for health reasons. It suggests that the benefits of coffee, likely attributable to its antioxidant and anti-inflammatory components, extend beyond the stimulating effects of caffeine. In the realm of health and wellness, especially on topics as widely discussed as coffee consumption, misconceptions abound. 
One such misconception is the idea that coffee, by virtue of its caffeine content, is inherently detrimental to kidney health. While it's true that excessive caffeine intake can have negative effects, such as increasing blood pressure or causing dehydration factors that can stress the kidneys, the key word here is excessive. As we've seen from recent studies, moderate coffee consumption can actually be associated with protective benefits for the kidney. It's a reminder that moderation is a guiding principle for a reason, and that the DOS makes the poison. Another area where caution is warranted revolves around individuals with existing kidney disease, particularly those with advanced conditions or on dialysis. Coffee additives such as sugar, cream, and flavored syrups can turn a potentially healthful beverage into a calorie-dense, sugar-laden drink that might contribute to conditions like obesity, diabetes, and high blood pressure, key risk factors for kidney disease. Thus, when discussing coffee's impact on kidney health, the conversation must extend beyond coffee itself to encompass the entirety of one's diet and lifestyle choices. As we conclude, let this be a call to action for all of us. For the coffee enthusiasts, let's savor our brew with mindfulness and moderation, appreciating the complexity of its effects on our health. For those with kidney concerns or other health conditions, let's engage in informed conversations with healthcare providers, seeking advice that's tailored to our individual health journeys. Finally, let's keep the conversation going. Share this video with friends and family, spark discussions over your next cup of coffee, and don't hesitate to reach out with your thoughts, experiences, and questions. Your engagement enriches the dialogue, helping all of us to learn, grow, and make better choices for our health and happiness.